Y'all see how they abbreviate my name? Sade with the Aura. Aura. Receipt. Okay, shout out to that lady on Facebook. I'm going to try to make macaroni and cheese the way she did. I've never heard of anybody putting cream or mushroom soup in macaroni and cheese. But I'm going to try it. I don't think I'm going to take that chance and put sugar in it. I just don't know. She says she put sugar in it to cut the, um, because the cheese is so sharp. I got shredded cheese and all that stuff too. I'm going to show you guys what I got. But she says she used, uh, the sugar to cut down how sharp the cheese is. And it's like, if you don't want it sharp, just don't use sharp cheddar. So yeah, I don't think I'm putting no sugar in macaroni. I'm already skeptical about this, but when she made this, it looked so good. Yes, you could see the little black mushrooms in there after she mixed it and put it in the oven, but I'm willing to try it. If I don't like it, I know somebody gonna eat it. All right, so I got the Fiesta blend. Yes, it's great value. Cause somebody commented on the later video talking about um, seeing all the great value stuff. They talking about it's a no for me. Yeah, <laughs> it was funny cause I'm like, really? Like, I've always been like, it's certain things that I can't eat great value that I just cannot have. Like, I have to have Heinz ketchup, Hellman's mayo. Um, I like craft mustard, but any mustard tastes like mustard to me. So, but certain stuff I won't get. That's great value. Great value bread. Bread still going to taste like bread. I promise you. Like, it don't matter if you get Sarah's Lee, Sarah Lee or Nature's Own. It's still going to taste the same. I've bought it all. <clears throat> but um, I went out the cheap way because I don't know how this going to taste. So, I'd be darned if I spend a lot of stamps on a brand and it goes wasteful. So she had the Havarti. I just got two of each. I only need one of them, but I got two of each. So if I make this again for Thanksgiving, um, I already got the stuff and it's not sold out. And she got she used Gouda cheese. So I'm going to get one Gouda. And she says she used sliced Gouda because she's never seen it sold and shredded. So I'm going to use the Gouda and the Havarti. And this is my secret recipe, but a lot of people starting to use this now. Sour cream, y'all know I always put that in my mac and cheese. And I think that's about it, yeah. That's just another Gouda. Havarti. And Fiesta blend is basically Mexican blend. It just can't use the name Mexican because it's great value. So it's just blended, shredded, Jack, Monterey, all that stuff, Monterey Jack. Should I put this back in the fridge? No, I'll leave it out. It'll be going fast enough. And of course, I have my Muller's noodles. Now, see, I can use any brand's noodles as well. But, um, hold on, I just got a text from my classmate, and I hope she's not texting me two days before what I think she's texting me. Okay, so. I got my elbow noodles. I'm only going to use one of these um, because this is a big thing. 32 ounce. That was, um, I had to call my daughter real quick because I was supposed to come get her today. But listen, let me tell y'all something. If y'all children live with their other parent and they don't want to come with you and they don't beg them kids to come. See, people be thinking it's bad when those comedians and stuff be like, fuck them kids. It's not like we don't give a damn about our kids, but you don't have to kiss your kid's ass either. You know that, right? Chabu. Alani know that I was. we made an arrangement where, okay, she could start coming every other weekend. I didn't have her last weekend. I had it the weekend before. Y'all saw videos of that when I had her. And now she's talking about, well, we got a church event at 7. And I'm like, well, we only got one car working now. Solo going to be to work at 8. I ain't going to be able to come get you after that. And we're going to an event of festival at 7. And so she just sounded unsure. So just not to stress her. I'm like, hey, do you want to come or not? Yes or no? She's like, well, I guess not. Like, girl, I'm not about to beg you to come anywhere with me. You can stay on over there with your daddy. Because if that girl knew what I knew, she wouldn't even be there. And I, that's why I say, Ashley, she, she a good one, honey. She better than me. Because I think that's the only reason Alani get to stay over there with her daddy. Or her daddy get to stay with Ashley because of my daughter. 
If my daughter went there, I think Ashley probably would have been fed up. But you never know. Some people will deal with stuff for years before they are fed up, honey. She ain't about to keep stealing from me and my family. We all living in one apartment. My daughter over there now. Then Ashley, her children. Then my daughter's dad. Then her mom and her dad and her brother. All in one apartment. No, ma'am. You got to want better for yourself. But if y'all like it, I love it. Thank you. Appreciate you taking care of my child. Okay, so back to the schedule program. I'm going to go ahead and boil these noodles. I'm going to use a huge pot. But um, y'all will see what I'm about to do. water so it won't take that long to boil and for anyone you know that's wondering if i'm bothered i promise you i'm not bothered if i was i would tell you yes it's my child i'm bothered my feelings hurt but there's a lot that's been going on behind the scenes and like i said Lonnie want to sit over there with her daddy and her stepmom and her stepmom's parents and her stepmom's brother, her stepmom's other kids and all that in the apartment. She's happy. She's in private school now. Something that I couldn't do and I'm wondering how they could do it, but I really ain't wondering as long as they doing it. You know what I'm saying? As long as she getting taken care of, that's all that matters. But I don't like when she plays little games like that. Like, if you don't want to come, just say, I would rather not come right now. Like, which I wouldn't know why they wouldn't want her to come spend other time with her other siblings. But, yeah. Should I be enough? That might not be enough. I don't know. <clears throat> but I'm not going to boil this all the way anyway. So, yeah, that's probably enough. Yeah, y'all know when Maya wanted to be grown, if y'all been watching me for a while, y'all remember... It's not that she wanted to be grown. She with her dad, I guess. I don't know if they let her roam the streets or anything. I don't know any of that. But sometimes you got to let them go, honey. I told Q that's what's going to happen with you soon. But Q nowhere is good at, honey. He nowhere. Okay, I'm being taken care of over here. Let me listen to my mama. You know, and Maya even telling him, listen to mom. Do everything that mom telling you. Because Maya see now. Because she's an adult. You know what I'm saying? So she sees, and it's sad that you have to wait till you're an adult to see. But it is okay. Like, Lonnie need three. Um, What is it? Because she, y'all remember she got the root canals. I took her to get that. And then the insurance wasn't going to pay for the permanent fillers. It's $600 per tooth. So right before I was about to do it, that's when she hit the fan. She went with her daddy and all that stuff. And they still ain't did it yet. And that's a life or death situation. She can literally die. But the last time I seen her, she showed me her teeth. She still ain't got one feeling yet. So, okay. And I told him that the day she went over there, hey, she need three fillings. It's $600 per filling and no insurance will pay for it. But I guess they still calling around trying to find. I guess they didn't believe me. But the longer you're taking, you're risking her life. Okay, so I'm going to let this, this heat up, let this boil, and then we'll be back. All right, I just got the phone with my friend for like 30 minutes, so this pot is probably super hot. I'm going to put my butter in here, a whole stick of butter, okay? Just to melt my butter. I actually can pour my um, cream on mushroom soup now. I don't have to wait for that melt, but I wanted to show you guys what I was doing. Okay, now I'm about to pour fat free. You can get whatever kind you want. I got the kind that she used. And you know I'm gonna get all of that with some water. I'm gonna let all this milk and all that good stuff. So now I'm gonna put about half of this um, sour cream in here, or probably over half. Now that's how much sour cream I put in here. Like I said, a little bit over half. All right. Gotta stir it in 
incorporate it all together, y'all. Mix it on up. Yeah, it looks mm, not pretty. But, um, we gonna see how this tastes. It can't taste too bad, because it's like the same stuff I use except for the cream and mushroom soup. So, we're gonna see. And as far as my noodles, um, I just turned the stove off because I'm not cooking those all the way. I probably need to go ahead and pour this water off. Okay, so I'm going to cream and mushroom soup can. I'm going to pour some milk in there. Shake that up and pour it in the pot. Uh -uh. Okay. And then I'll pour some and then shake it up because I can't shake it up if it's full. Yeah, simmer on down, cool on down. Now I'm gonna close the lid and well, there you go. But try to shake it as much as I can without making a mess. And then scrape the rest out. I got the lid all in there to help. God, Shade. Now she used a half a block of Velveeta and it looks like she had a 32 ounce. So what I'm gonna do, cause I want the white and the yellow. So I'm gonna get half of the 16 ounce and half of that. And that should equals um, 16 ounce for half and half. Mm -hmm. Sliced it open. Got half of that. And I'm gonna chop it up. Got this one open. That one in there. Let me go over here and close these, the cheese up and put it back in the fridge and I'll be back over here. Somebody said Velveeta wasn't real cheese. Is that true? I ain't done my research, but and then I seen in the comments, they tell me, no, that's that government cheese. They just changed the top of the box. <laughs> and then somebody else was like, that government cheese was good, even if it wasn't real. I'm pretty sure I never had some at family members' house. My mom, you know, she was never on like government assistance or any of that. Like I said before, stayed in the projects, but I always went to my cousin's house and played with them in the projects. So I'm pretty sure I ate some of the best food with that government cheese. So if this is government cheese and they just named it Velveeta, oh well. So I'm gonna chop this up with this spoon and wait on this to melt. And in the meantime, I'm gonna show you what we're doing next. So she did add more milk and she said add it, you know, before everything start boiling because if you add it while it's boiling, you can make it curdle. Curdle is just a fancy word for like spoiling the milk where it clumps up and looks spoiled and stuff like that. That's all that means. But even if it does, it's going right in this mac and cheese because I've made it curdle many times, pouring it right on the noodles, the hot noodles, and it was still yummy. All it is now is blue cheese. So I'm waiting on this to melt, and then we'll put the um the gouda and the Havarti cheese in there. I'm going to keep my stove on where it's at. I think it's on five now, but you know everybody's stove is different. I'm not going to turn it up because this is cheese and stuff, and it will burn fast. And people were talking about um, the black spots in her macaroni. Did they forget she put cream of mushroom soup? Those are mushrooms. They kept talking about the lady. Like, that's why it's sad, you know, a lot of people get discouraged from sharing stuff on social media because people are talking. They were talking about um, her burners like how mine are rusted and stained. They were talking about her stove was dirty and if you do a food tutorial, your stove need to be clean. Yeah, true, but like it's not hurting y'all. The lady had long nails. They were talking about her nails and it's her food. Y'all ain't gotta eat it. Y'all, like she's selling plates. <laughs> the lady just showing y'all how to cook the food. You can do what you wanna do. Just like I put some of the white cheddar in here. She only used the orange Velveeta, but I put both. You make it how you want to. But I just wanted to try it with this cream of mushroom soup. Because I like cream of mushroom soup. I normally make a casserole with the chicken and everything for Thanksgiving. So I say, let me see. It can't taste too bad with the mac and cheese because there's still a lot of cheese in here. And she put like a ton of cheese. So, And my man likes a lot of cheese in his mac and cheese. I don't know if he be stopped up or not, but... <laughs> Yeah, he like it cheesy. So, wait on that to melt. I'm going to keep stirring it. And then, um, yeah. 
Okay, the next step she did was add sugar. I'm, I'm going to skip that step because I don't like my food to be sweet unless it's a, a dessert. <laughs> but I don't think you're going to be able to taste the sugar because she, she put a little bit in there. But some people are saying that was a lot. So I don't know. But I'm going to skip the sugar. Um, and it looks like she did the whole pack of Gouda slices. So she had paper in between hers. And um, so this one came like this. So I'm going to do... Um, one slice at a time like she did and I got my spoon right there in the way this is exactly what she did she did the same with the Havarti and she said this cheese makes it so good she had her sitting out for a while so it didn't take long to melt so I may or may not turn the stove up after this I don't know because you can see the cheese when she's putting it in the pot how it was sweating and she, I don't know her name, but I saw the video on Facebook. And somebody else shared her video, so. So, yeah, I'm going to put the whole pack on here. And then we're going to go to the Havarti. So, now I'm going to put the sliced Havarti, semi-soft cheese in here. Okay. Smelling good. Smelling like cheese. <laughs> I was going to say macaroni and cheese, but the macaroni ain't in here. Where does little paper come from? Oh, it does have little papers to separate it, but it's like that. The one she had, it had entire papers, like covering the entire square. I hope I ain't putting no paper in there because I ain't even see that paper until just now. Hmm. Popping now. I'm like, ooh, don't you pop me in my face. I'm glad I didn't turn it up. Uh-uh. So now I'm going to stir all this up. Oh, I want my cheese to burn, so I'm wondering if I should turn this down. I think it's popping just because I just had it sitting there and wasn't stirring it. I don't think it's too hot. At least I hope not. If it's scorched cheese in here, they going to eat it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to stir up all this goodness, this cheesy goodness, and let this melt. i just keep stirring it. Ooh, honey, that's a lot of cheese. So normally, I put shredded cheese, block cheese, and that's how I make my base, my cheese base. Mm -hmm, I might have to turn this down. I smell a little burning smell. I'll turn it down a little bit. I just put it on three. When you smell that burning smell, then yes, yeah, something's sticking at the bottom burning. Keep stirring it. Because this pot sure sticks, honey. Okay, I see she's like me. She um does not season her macaroni and cheese. I only put salt and pepper in mine. And I got this open on the big side. Let's see if I got any more in here to finish this off. Um, I put sea salt and pepper. That's it. Because she said the same thing that I've been saying for years. Macaroni and cheese don't need seasoning. It has its own unique flavors. Woo! I stopped the video to sneeze. Um, okay, that one's empty. I had another one, but I might... Cause I put more on the top of my mac and cheese. She didn't do that, but I put more on the top. Like when I put it in the oven. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my macaroni. I can't do that, y'all know. I'll, it's only me as the camera person. Um, okay, that's cheese. So, look, I can use the same one cause it's going in here. But I'm going to um, get the pot. I'm going to loosen the noodles and just get the whole pot in my hand and dump it over in the cheese. I'm not going to do scoop by scoop like that. But I'm just showing you for the purposes of the video what I'm doing next. And that is putting the noodles in here. Add a little bit left in here. But um, before I put the rest in, I got to push this down in this cheese. And I probably should have used this big pot for that 32 ounce thing of noodles. I may switch it over, but we'll see. 
Probably not. If I can fit it all in this cheese and stir it up, because it's going right to a pan after this pot right here. So that don't make any sense for me to put all this cheese and cream of mushroom over in this pot and then have to pour it back out. So, yeah, I think I'll be fine. All right. We got all the noodles in here. So you see the little black things? Those are mushrooms from the cream of mushroom soup. It's not scorched cheese, I promise. But even if it was, you don't have to eat it. So shut up. All right, so I'm gonna get this all mixed up. I got my pan over here waiting, my glass pan. I got my oven preheating already on 350. I think that's everybody's favorite number. I'm gonna start doing something different. Can I put it on 315 or something? 325? Everybody do 350 or 375. <laughs> it really don't matter. If you put it on 100, it don't matter. It's just going to take longer to cook. If you put it on 400, it's just going to cook fast. It really don't matter. Also, it's up to you before you transfer the noodles into your cheese if you want to rinse them off with cold water or whatever before you add them um, to your cheese. Everything is always optional. You ain't got to do exactly what Shadi telling you to do. Just like when I do my other cooking videos, I tell y'all, use what seasoning you want. Because most likely, I be using only what I got. It ain't no special ingredient. So, of course, I can't hold the camera and um, dump the mac and cheese over here. But I'm about to pour about half of this pot on here. I wish I had a deeper pan. Because this pan is not that deep. Um... But yeah, I'm going to pour half, if I can, over in this pan. If I got to get another pan, I'll do that as well. All right. I'm just spreading it out. Yeah, this pan is um, it's already full. I'm going to have to get two pans because look how much mac and cheese I got left. But I'm going to pour a little bit more on top of this. But first, I'm going to um, open my Fiesta, a.k.a. my Mexican blend. Oh, I forgot to put my other Gouda and Havarti cheese in the fridge. Fiesta blend. Okay. So I'm going to get my hands that I'm feeding my family with. And I'm going to sprinkle my cheese over my macaroni noodles. Okay. If it's boogers up under my fingernails, then it's boogers. If it's vaginal discharge up under my fingernails, then... Well, no, I ain't got no vegetable discharge right now. So, mm -hmm. If it's yeast, well, no, I ain't got no yeast in there right now. So, whatever it may be. If it's under my fingernails, you ain't got to eat it. <laughs> okay, but y'all got it. I wash my hands so much. That's why I'm always ashy, especially in between there right there. Always ashy. It's the medical field in me. All right. So I put my um, Mexican blend on there. Now I'm going to pour a little bit more noodles on the top. Can't pour much because it's already full, you know. Let me see. I'm going to spread this. See, I never used to do it like this. I used to put all the shredded in my base as well in the pot. But she did one layer of noodles and then a layer of shredded cheese, which makes sense because that's how I do my lasagna. So I'm not sure why I never did my macaroni like that. But what she didn't do, she didn't put another layer of cheese on top. And I'm going to see if I don't have to do that because the cheese came through the noodles when it was done. All that shredded cheese up under there, it came up. It rose up like God himself. Okay. And yeah, I had to do another pan. It's going to be slim pickings in this pan. bit more in the bottom of this pot right here. I ain't put this one in the oven yet. I gotta put some of my um, cheese on here. Stay close, stay close. Don't want cheese all over my stove. You know, I could just wipe it right off, but less mess I make, the less work I have to do when I clean while I'm cooking. Because he wants to do all that cleaning after. Not I, not I, not I, not I. 
Put a little bit more on the corners. The corners is the best to me, honey. Yes, indeed. Anytime I eat mac and cheese, I want the corner. See the little mushrooms in there? That's a mushroom. So now I'm about to pour the rest of this over on top of this, like I did this. I probably didn't get every last piece of cheese out of here, but I guarantee y'all got every noodle out of that pot. But, yeah, I'm gonna spread it the best way I can. Because this would have been too full if I would have did it in the other pan. Too, too full. Now, I don't think I got no tin foil. Come off, dang it. Now, you see that? That's scorched. Because I scraped. You see where I scraped the bottom of the pan, the pot? That's scorched cheese right there. So, I'm not going to put that one in there. But that little piece right there, that can stay. That ain't going to harm nobody. Okay. Let me see if I got some tin foil. Won't he do it? Glory. I never cover my mac and cheese, but I'm going to cover it. I'm going to do everything she did because I want to see if mine come out as cheesy as hers did. you know how long I cook it when I get back because I don't know. Gotta watch it. I'm gonna take this time to clean up, put everything up that I didn't put up before, which is only this cheese and then I gotta wash the pot in my stove. Everything else is up. You know what? I didn't put no eggs in my macaroni and cheese this time. I just noticed that and I always put egg in my macaroni and cheese. Okay, well let's see how this come out. Now granted, hers wasn't like a cake. And that's why you add the egg if you want it to stick together like a cake. Hers wasn't like a cake, but it still looked good. So I'm going to just see what this be like. <laughs> okay, because people were saying it was too runny, it was too watery. But I just want to try her recipe. I, I should have added egg, but I forgot about it um, following her recipe step by step. That's what made me totally forget about the egg. But y'all know, y'all watch my videos. I always put egg in my macaroni and cheese. So it's not probably not going to be stuck together, but that's okay. Might as well get all the cheese from my feet and shake it over in this pot because I gotta wash this out anyway. Ooh, this top so hot. I ain't got my scrubbing cloth today. One of the ones that said it had cloths like that. We had scrub on one side, wipe on the other. Okay. And you got to scrape all that burnt, nasty cheese and ish off the bottom. If not, you just don't half ass wash it. I did not put any soap in it yet. But that's just a waste of soap when I know I got to. Then I let it soak a little bit in soap before I actually wash it to let the rest of it lift. So I dump it for me. So I just put, took all the food out with my hand and threw it down there real quick while burning my darn hand. Because I knew that I 
had cheese left behind from when I moved that pot. I knew you were going to reveal yourself. Shredded. I found my covers, y'all, that we got from Family Dollar. I forgot what we paid for. Two dollars? No, three dollars. I found them in the stockpile room when I was in there cleaning my stockpile room last night. Uh huh. I didn't want the gold ones. I wanted the silver ones. Okay. I don't even know how long it's been in here, y'all. It looks so white. And that's why I don't like my own, the tin foil on the mac and cheese. I'm going to take this off. You can do what you please. But we got to go. Because we're late for this event. I think I'm going to just turn the oven off and wish for the best. My husband in there sleep. Yeah. Because it'll keep cooking when you turn the um, oven off. But I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I got to go. We'll see what it look like when I get back. Well, I just got back. And it looked like somebody already been in the Mac. My old man said... It's good. It's just not yellow. That's the same thing I said. I wonder if mine is white because I put that half of the white Velveeta in there. I didn't think it would make that much of a difference, but I guess it did. I'm just about to um, put a little bit on this side and taste it. And it's not too loose, probably because it's been sitting here while we were going to the little Halloween festival. Mm-hmm. It actually tastes like regular mac and cheese. I don't even taste the cream of mushroom soup. Well, there you have it. It ain't pretty like I make mine. You know, I told y'all I put the shredded cheese on top and the pepper to make the crust. But I wanted to make it just how she made it, just to see what the big deal about it. And I'm glad I did, because I'm not going to do this for Thanksgiving. Mm -mm. I'm going to make my own mac and cheese like I always do. So it's real pretty, orange, got the crust on it. Yeah. It ain't no difference. See that skin right there on the corner? That's how I like my crust to be on top. It's just too plain for me. Yeah, it's good, but it's not pretty. And pretty don't mean it's good all the way, all the time. <laughs> so what I'm saying is my mac and cheese be pretty and bussing. Oh, crrr.